Defender of Freedom uploading data log for days 140 to 144 of the Galactic War. Hello Data Archive. With the automaton assault stopped for now, Helldivers have fought valiantly across many fronts to shut down the continuous spread of the Terminants. We have seen the most attacks by the bugs break out than ever before in the past five days. At the start of day 141, the Tsar sector was secured for the Major Order and no further attacks were seen. But in the opening hours of the day, the defense of Nova 43 was lost, now exposing Hellmire to further terminated spread. Shortly afterwards, the Major Order was successfully completed. The Socialist Toasters have been thwarted once again, and the heroes buried at Malevolent Creek will continue to rest in peace. Helldivers should take a moment of celebration for securing the territory that many others have sacrificed to liberate in the earlier days of this war. High Command has indicated that we can expect that the automatons will spread no further in this region for the foreseeable future. Further orders were then given, we're making a return back to the Terminate Front, having secured the automaton frontier for the time being. The Terminates have begun spreading to the Falstaff and Jinshi sectors following our recent operations in the Mirin and Draco sectors. These attacks are particularly unsettling for Super-Earth citizens, as these areas have been allocated by the Ministry of Expansion for long-term colonization. Only sparse colonial outposts exist on these planets, and the pesky bugs have a tendency to migrate towards planets with higher democratic activity. But Super-Earth behavioral analysts agree, however, that certainly there is no link between their spores spreading to new sectors and our recent nuclear efforts to annihilate their nurseries that would be preposterous. The major order is to maintain control over Boar Rock and Urson Sands in the Falstaff sector, and Akamar 4, Pandion 24, and Fak Bay in the Jinshi sector. Haldivers must prevent the expansion of the Terminates in these territories. If they are able to expand in these sectors, there will be no end to their rampant infestations. Immediately following the receipt of new orders, three terminated attacks occurred on Akamar 4, 4 e Prime, and Boar Rock. Helldivers spread out to defend the planets for the major order, with the majority focused on Boar Rock. While the tall trees of the forested world was still unfamiliar to many Helldivers, we made short work of this defense, completing it within 12 hours. Helldivers then moved on to reinforce the efforts in Akamar 4 to secure the planet to be protected for the Major Order. The defense of Akamar 4 was already trending to complete in time, but with the arrival of reinforcements, the attack by the tyrannical bugs was effortlessly squashed. Akamar 4 was successfully defended approximately two and a half hours later. With the defense of Foy Prime seeming out of reach, Helldivers then deployed to Fact Bay to liberate the planet and by the morning of day 141, the 4A Prem defense was lost, and Helldivers continued the liberation efforts on Fact Bay for the remainder of the day. The bug infestation on Fact Bay was certainly worse than we have previously seen, but the unmatched skill and expertise of the Helldivers once again prevailed over the expansionist instincts of the bugs, and by the morning of day 142, Fact Bay was liberated placing three of the five planets required for the Major Order under our control in a quarter of the time provided. Helldivers then shifted to complete the liberation of Pandion 24. Liberation of the planet went smoothly for approximately 12 hours, until a massive terminated outbreak occurred, triggering attacks on multiple planets. Akamar 4, Fact Bay, and Bora Rock were all attacked at the same time, all key planets for our Major Order. Helldivers then split across Pandion 24 and the three defenses to simultaneously progress the liberation and defend all three planets at once. And early on day 143, Akamar 4 was successfully defended. Helldiver reinforcements then shifted to the other two defenses, allowing Fact Bay to be successfully defended just two hours later. The impeccable coordination of the Helldivers allowed the completion of two defenses while simultaneously raising the liberation of Pandion 24. Forces were then split between Boar Rock and Pandion 24 until a new terminated attack broke out on Crimsica. Prioritizing the Major Order, Helldivers focused on the defense of Boar Rock, shutting down all three defenses with four hours of spare. With all three defenses complete, focus was on Pandion 24 to complete the liberation. With progress continuing on the planet throughout the day, despite simultaneously defending three other planets, 
held there as quickly wrapped up the liberation in the early hours of day 144. Now with four of the five required planets liberated for the major order in just over half the time, Haldivers then shifted to Crimsica in effort to save the defense as well as Esker as it is a requirement to reach Ursin Sands. Unfortunately, despite the valiant efforts to return to save the planet, the defense just fell short in Crimsica. But although we expected our efforts to continue on Esker to reach Ursin Sands, once again, terminated outbreaks erupted in the Genshi sector, immediately losing control over Gatria. The Gatria system. Gatria, I mean, whatever, there's no time for this. <clears throat> it appears the abnormally large spore dispersals following the unrelated recent hive annihilation actions may have led to the seeding of terminates before they could be fully eradicated. This has caused two more attacks to break out on Akamar 4 and Fact Bay. But much like the previous defenses in past days, Helldivers shut down both in short order, completing both in 16 hours. For the remainder of the day, Super Destroyers deployed to Esker to begin our path to Ursin Sands, the final planet. This concludes this data log for days 140 to 144 data archive. The planets within the Gen C sector have been secured for the major order. We must now secure the remainder of the Falsaf sector to contain the spread of the terminates. Once Esker is liberated, we will make landfall on Ursin Sands to liberate the last planet for this major order. The Defender of Freedom is deploying Helldivers to Esker.